Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am testing out some different products and I wanted to show you all a basic everyday makeup routine. Now I have my one foundation here and multiple more products that we're gonna go through. We are gonna use every single product from primer, foundation, powder, contour, blush, eyeshadow, mascara. I'm gonna plug out these eyebrows and more. So without any further ado, let's jump in and I'll show you guys my everyday, basic, beautiful, stunning makeup routine. Okay, so I firstly want to start off with my first product. All of my products will be linked right down here at the bottom of the screen. Now here is my first product. This is the e.l.f poreless primer in this pink color. Now this stuff lasts forever. I think I paid like $6 for this and I bought it in like May or June. I think it was at the end of May or June. I think it was like June. Um, and I love this product. I use it every single time I do makeup. So the way you're gonna wanna go ahead and apply this, excuse me, apply this, is pop your hair out of your face and just clear your mind. I'm gonna actually, lot my hair back like that. Well, I actually should find a different pair of glasses for this. Now, I don't know if I have another pair of glasses somewhere. I don't think so. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this behind my ears and get this hair out of my way so I can have a cleaner, organized workspace. Now, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna grab my e.l.f. Poreless Primer. And what you're gonna wanna do is grab your hand here. I don't really know a, way to, a good way to show this to you guys. You wanna basically just do one and a half. That's all the more that you need. That's actually a little bit too much. Um, and then you're just gonna go ahead and take your little hand, ring finger, pointer, whatever. And then I just take this and I put it under my eyes, on my cheeks, um, anywhere that is, you know, just to keep it more hydrated and have a cleaner aspect for the makeup to go on. Now, wherever you're really oily at, you may have like a really oily face. You need to buy a primer that's, you know, specific for you. Um, now, for me personally, I'm not oily, only on my nose. Um, I am super duper oily on my nose, on the tip of my nose right here, on the sides of my nose, all over my nose. It's really, really oily, but we are going to go ahead and ignore the fact and not put it on that nose. And we are now going to go in with my next product, which is my favorite. Well, I want to my favorite, but one of my favorite foundations. The Wet n Wild Foundation. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Nude Ivory, and the number is 363C. Again, this should say Nude Ivory. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take this product here that I have, and I'm going to put this on my face. So let's take this product, and the way that I like to lay this out is I just go ahead, I just take some, I do a few different lines on my face, nothing too crazy. The scent of this really reminds me of old times that I used to use this foundation. Um, I don't think it was bad times, but I was not too good at makeup and I thought that, you know, girl, what in the hell happened with my hair? Um, you know, back then I always thought that, you know, a darker foundation was better because it could look, to look like a tan. And, you know, that was something that I always would use back then. I would always put like a darker foundation. I had a lot of troubles in my early careers with foundations, trying to find like a good shade and all that. You know, and that was just one of my issues that I had. I have a big clump of foundation there. Okay, my beauty blender is not wet. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go wet this and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back freshly from wetting my beauty blender and I'm now gonna go ahead and blend out this foundation.
your foundation is now laid out and you're probably thinking, oh, okay, good. Let's have something a concealer and everything else. No, let it set. Not really like let it set, but just let light like that, but just let light like lay there for a second. I love to put my hair back with sunglasses like this, and that really just opens up my workspace. Now, you're gonna let this go ahead and sit. This foundation doesn't um, require that, only because this foundation does not require it, but I do always do it because it does. I don't know how to explain this. This foundation doesn't require the sitting to make it like better, but it requires it of the sitting to make it blend in and make it more seamless and not so much showing of your natural skin color like red. That makes more sense. <laughs> okay. And you can see like the nice glow it gives you. It's supposed to be, this foundation is supposed to be like a, um, a goodbye photo flashback. Helps eliminate when white particle reflection. So I guess like instead of like here and here, down here and then up here, it should be like just seamless with a little bit of highlights. I don't know. Okay, now that we let this sit, we're gonna go in with my concealer. I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna put doot, doot, doot. Just like that, I'm not my brush back and use the other side of my applicator. Doot, doot, doot. Okay, just like that. I'm gonna go ahead here and put some right up in my nose. And we're not gonna do the little grass thing. It's so dumb. Um, and we're gonna put it on here. And anywhere that I see that I just think needs some more concealer or needs some concealer um, or some type of fixation, I'll be adding. Okay. And a little bit over here on this side. And let's do do a little bit up here. Okay. And now let's just sit there for a few seconds to let it kind of like melt um, and kind of get soft for me to blend. Um, and this color is a really nice match for my skin tone, I personally think. Um, you know, I cannot find a skin color to, or I cannot find a foundation to match my skin color because otherwise I, like, I got sunburned because my skin is like bright cherry red. here and then we're gonna just go in with my next step so after I finish this step I'm now gonna go ahead and put my foundation to the side of my next product I'm using is gonna be powders next this is the covergirl clean professional powder and this is in shade 105 translucent fair if you guys were an ASMR makeup tutorial let me know honey that will definitely be something that I'm working on I grabbed the wrong powder Oh, shit. I grabbed the wrong powder, y'all. Okay. This is my older powder. It's kind of messed up. Okay. Okay. So, go straight down here. Put all in there. And there's powder for it. It's going to look really crazy, but we are baking today. Um, it's best to bake because it just lets it really like, get in the skin and give you like a nice airbrush look. Now, you want to then dip it and go right under your eyes here and be really, really careful and gentle. Try not to flutter your eye too much. And just go right under there. Don't put a lot, but you just want to go on one time, pick up some powder, and you just want to go right under the eye. And then you want to go on the all over your nose and cover that nose real good up top. Now, anyway, you're going to be putting contour so I do not get it way up the tip of my face. And then down here, you just want to go and pat. Woo! Okay, so that is now finished. It goes in my notes. Okay, okay. So now we're gonna let that bake. Um, I should not need any more powder, but I might. Now I'm gonna go in with my contour. Now I personally love this contour. This is the LA Colors Contour in shade BBR 441 in shade Glowing. 
Now, I really love this shade. It's like a nice, beautiful shade. Don't mind a little bit of, um, um, now this can go on normally, but I love to spray it. It really just gives me like a nice airbrushed, really nice, shiny, you know, wet on there. And then once you dip them with your brush, this is a, a, a nice brush I'm using. I'm using the brush Studio Selections Total Face Brush. Doesn't really have a number. It's just called Total Face Brush. This brush is like two or three dollars. It's really, really good quality. Um, it's about the same as a Morphe brush, to be totally honest. Um, this would really apply foundation nicely, but I am not really into brushes. I am a nice person, and I would rather, you know, I'm, not, I'm a nice person or anything. Like, that doesn't really have to have anything to do with, um... Um... Yeah, that doesn't have to do with your nice person or not, but it does have to do with, like, whatever. I'm more of a person who likes beauty blenders. So I want to go ahead and leave that nice, like, airbrushed look right here. And then you want to go ahead and pick this up, and you want to bring it up across your face just like this, and give yourself a nice vibe. Now, you don't want to go too hardcore because you will look like you were out in the sun, and you had your face covered. And over time, this entire area... Got a big old bronzation. Now, that's nice for summer if you do it the right way and not so hectic. But um, it's not good for winter, especially. And um, if you go lightly up here and you give it like a nice look, it's a lot better. So you want to go pretty light up here on top of your forehead. You don't want to go in too crazy or anything. You just want to go pretty light. We'll grab some more here and we'll just lightly go in on top, top of there. You know, I use just like a bronzer and a contour together. Um, I love doing makeup like this. It just makes me have like a better look. Um, then I'm gonna go ahead and bring this on the side, just like that. And then I go ahead and give me like a nice bronzation, dip back in, come back down. Okay, and now you really wanna go ahead and dig this brush in here because then you're gonna go in on the side. And you want to go easy. You don't want to go in too crazy. I was a little bit crazy on that side, but you want to go like that. Okay. So now next, what we're going to be doing is going with the blush. The blush really opens it up and just makes it look like beautiful. Um, this is the LA Colors Blush Again. It's in color or shade CBC 141 in the shade Natural. Now, of course, I went this too. LA Colors is an okay brand, but they do have some trouble um, their blush, really. Um, if you don't want your, if you don't want this blush, it just is not going to go on your face. Like totally, it's just not even going to go on. That's one problem we, that I have with this blush. But other than that, it's a really, really good blush. I love this shade. I love how it looks. I love how it shimmers. It's just that one little bit of problem that really ruins the whole entire time because I put it on and it has no color. Now, right there, look all that color. It looks beautiful with the with the contour. It looks nice, you know, nice peach. But regular basis. Nuh uh, gotta wet it. And it must have contour on with it because otherwise it looks like shit. Now, right here on my nose, I'm just gonna go ahead and flirt my little brush there, get some pigment, and then now um, I just wipe the hair on my eyes and that kind of gets the rest of the blush like up there. And look at how sleek. Now, I know this may look crazy, but once the powder is wiped off, it will look a lot better. Um, moment how this is looking right now. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to jump in with my other, with this brush again. And now I'm just going to go ahead and wipe this off of my wrist, like that, and try to get some of that excess powder. And then I'm going to go off the side of my brush and I'm going to lightly feather this away from my face and get all this powder off my face right here. Now you want to go easy and light. You don't want to go too, you don't want to go too crazy and detail. And you just want to basically just wipe this powder off. Now, see, I went in lightly. I don't have too much stuff. Now, I just want to go in here. I just blend this out a little bit like this on both sides. It just really helps blend it. I missed a spot down here to blend out foundation. Okay. Now, my under my neck, and I just take my beauty blender after this step. And I lightly just tap this. Now, of course, I have tons of acne on my chin, but doing this with a little bit of foundation really helps bring the two colors together and bring life. 
Now, next in my makeup tutorial, I like to go in and, you know, I would have to go over something. This is like an everyday makeup tutorial. Now, listen, everybody is different with their makeup. This may look really ugly on someone else's face. It may look really, really good in my face. Some of you guys may hate my face looking like this. I may love it. I personally love this. And I personally, it, should, it will look good on most people's faces. But some people's faces have different skin tones. doesn't look good together. You know, um... You know, everybody's skin tone has beauty. You know, of course, we all know that. But, you know, with different shades and different colors, it doesn't show up right. I had someone who used this contour, and they were, like, almost the same shade as this. And it turned, like, an olive green or something with their skin. And it was really crazy, and I couldn't believe it. So, sorry that lady who did this make a tutorial with me. Um, it really really messed her up. She, did not, she was not happy about it. But, anyway, moving on, we're now going to move into eyeshadow. So I'm going to go in with my eyeshadow today, and I am going to use this shade in this thing. It's called Celebrity Skin. I am just going to take the Celebrity Skin color. I'm going to go ahead and pack up my brush. One tap off, that's it. No more. And now we're just going to go ahead and we're going to bring this in on my eye. And this shade's a really nice, simple, nude shade. Um, it's very, very basic. It has, it's very, like, very nice. It really gives, like, a nice look to the eye. Um, you just want to watch for your for your fallout because you will have like a bit of fallout with this tan. Now, of course, this is a Jeffree Star Cosmetics. It's a blue blood palette, and this um, this makeup brush is the Beauty Essence Blending Eyeshadow Brush, and this one of the best brushes that I've ever had. Um, I've been using the same brush for a long time. This is the first brush that I ever chose to apply uh, eyeshadow with, with a brush. Now, of course, I used to use those stupid applicators. Now, some of you may really like them still, but honey, it's 2021. We don't use brushes, or we don't use applicators anymore. We use brushes. But it's okay if y'all want to use applicators. Everybody's different. Now, I'm just going to take this little bit of my brush. I'm going to go right here, and I'm just going to lightly... A little bit. I don't know. Not much at all. You don't want a lot. It's a little bit. Okay, that's it, okay? It looks good. It looks nice. Um, now, I want to go ahead. I want to, I forgot. I'm taking this, and I want to take this color shade, Colin, Colin, Colin? I don't know what this shade is. And I'm just going to take this, and I'm just going to dust this nice, beautiful glitter right across here. And kind of like give it like a nice blendation with this, like, like a nude. And then I'm just going to go ahead and lightly just feather it off. It gives like a nice shimmer. Put a little bit too much on the other side, so I'll get back in with some more celebrity skin and lightly go back over that. Okay, so next for our makeup today, I'm going to take a look at this, see how this is looking so far. <sighs> Looks nice. Full coverage looks good. Now we're gonna go in with our mascara. So I add a little bit of water to this. Uh, whenever I use, whenever I used it, I added some more water. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this in my camera. But you should want to go ahead and run some mascara through your lashes. Okay. Oh! That's a problem. This is a little bit too bad. And if that happens, just take your little brush and just wipe. And you can just also just blend it right on back in. Okay. So I just go right in on the bottom and I just re-blend this nicely through. And that really adjusts how that looks. Now I want to go back and I want to touch up this blush because um, I feel that I have a lot on one side and not enough on the other. Okay. I dropped it. Great. 
<sighs> okay. Now, we are now done with the foundation, the powder, the contour, the blush, the eyeshadow, and the mascara. Now what? Now I'm going to take this little eyeshadow brush that I have. I'm going to go and I'm going to clean it out. And I want to take this and I'm just going to look at my eyebrows. And I want to make sure it's totally clean. You can use a mascara wand if you want, if it's totally cleaned out. And I'm just going to run my brushes through. Now, I personally, I don't add any kind of color to my eyelashes or my eyebrows because I just feel like I like the normal color of them. And it usually matches with my makeup look. Look at this. It looks nice. Um, I regularly do, do tweeze my eyebrows. So of course, I do have some hairs here that connect almost. It was just ill, But anyway, it's okay. So next on my list, you're finding what's next. Are we almost done? Yes, of course. We are almost done. So our last step for this makeup tutorial is just to go ahead and, um, of course, we did the mascara. What's next? So the eyebrows are now done. What's next? Nice highlight. So we've got to have a nice highlight today. Um, so we're going to go in my blue blood palette again. I'm going to grab the shade Cullinan, which is like that white shade. I'm just going to go ahead. I'm just going to run that right there. Not too much, honey. You just want to go lightly and beautifully. So not too much. Like I mentioned, it's a little nice light look um, to go along with this. I just really like how that looks. Nice light look. And now right on top of the eye eyebrows. I'm just gonna put them up there. You can go ahead and blend that out your finger. I love this highlighter. And a little bit on the tip of the nose. And then I'll go ahead and blend that out. And that's it. We're now finished um, with this entire look almost. So now lastly, all I wanna do is go ahead and apply our lip gloss. So I'm gonna use this shade. I think it's fresh. Yeah, it's fresh. This is the LA Colors Lip Gloss. It is shade CLG 949 and shade fresh. So I'm just going to go ahead here. This takes a lot of focus. So give me a minute. You can watch. I'm just going to talk. Bottoms are done. <coughs> oh my gosh. I forgot to put my scroll on this side. <coughs> I was like wondering in the mirror, I'm like looking at myself, I'm like, why does this look so shitty? Okay, I don't wanna put any of the bottom. And now I'm just gonna go on the top with this as well. I actually, I don't want to say anything yet. Hold on. I actually don't think I ever got my lips looking this good. Okay, now our last step is to go ahead and put on our glasses. I look so fresh, like. Okay, it looks really nice. Okay, so with that being said, all of our products, our last thing to do, is just to do some setting spray. Now I make my own. I just put some water, a little bit of perfume, and then some aloe vera gel. Give it a good old shaky shake and set this face in place. Cue the music. And with that being said, 
grab my little fan. It was like a Dollar Tree fan. I got it from like the Dollar Tree. What in the? We are finished. Kind of lets on my hair. Okay. Well, with that being said, this makeup look is fully finished. I love the way the eyebrows came out. I love the way everything came out. It's so pretty and beautiful and stunning. So enjoy your makeup if you did follow along. I love you guys, and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye, guys. Mwah.